Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, with a mystery box from, uh, I f Oh, no. Who's this from? Oh, no. Oh, I ripped everything off. I covered it up. Future me. Who's this from? It's from someone. It's very light. I don't know that there's a knife in here, but we're gonna open it up, see what it is, right now. That's right, mystery box from a mystery person. Uh, I have no idea. I came home and it was here. Uh, we got the Bridgeport 395 to open this a little lovely up. There were like 13 labels on this. It came via UPS, which is... Uh... Hello? Hello? Greetings, Cole. This is for you to do, for you to do as you wish. I previously just shipped knives to you straight from the source, but I wanted to play with this first before sending your way. Definitely a cool knife. Congrats on 7K with no name. Future me, who is this? <laughs> I don't know. It's a Blade HQ box, obviously, with the fun, fancy liner and a speeder goal. A spider goal what? Oh, oh, I know what it is. Is there anything else in here? Any other notes? Just a box of nuts. I can't throw it. I'm sorry. I know it feels wrong, but I'll future me, insert noise. I still made a mess. Whoops. Hell yeah. All right, dude. Spiderco. Uh, from a viewer. Thank you. Uh, I said I could do what I please with it. Thank you. Thank you. This is way too kind. I was very confused because I only had one package I was accepting and this was not it. This is a Spiderco Akuchi. A Spiderco I've always wanted to check out. But I never have. Uh, it's very interesting, very different. I believe these are made in Taichung, Taiwan. And holy shit, it's tiny. <laughs> Look. It's a little toothpick. Oh shit, yeah, dude. Got the sticker, got the paperwork in there. The Spiderco Akuchi. Hell yeah. Look at this. It's the peel ply carbon fiber. So it's G10 with like a carbon fiber sticker over top. But it's very nice looking. That carbon fiber weave. Super minimal. The blade tucks completely flush into the handles there, which is really cool. Really cool look. We got the deep carry wire clip that I like. I like it. Plenty of room in there. It doesn't tear up your pocket that much. And we have this very interesting little flipper tab back here. That's like a little. It's like a little zoom in full effect. It's like a little cog wheel, little wheel uh, that acts as a flipper, and it is a comp uh, compression lock as well. It's so tiny, dude. I had no idea it was this dainty. It doesn't even look like a knife closed up. Uh, let me get the size comparison knives out. Here is another Spyderco. Spyderco pair of three. So about the same length, but like half as girthy. It's like a little, little carbon fiber banana. And here's a Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. So yeah, like about that size, but thinner than both. And super, super lightweight. About, I don't know, well, about the same. About the same as the as the rock wall. So not huge. Stainless steel liners, by the way. Reversible clip as well. Very interesting. Very interesting. And then it has this hole that seemingly serves no purpose. D that little flipper tab works great. Look at this blade. Absurdly thin. Full flat ground. S30V blade. Yeah, Taichung Taiwan. Uh, future me, who's the designer on this? I, 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 the maker's mark is right here, but I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. Help. It's damn adorable, dude. I've wanted one of these. I've wanted to check one of these out for years, for two, three years. Since before I started my channel, I've wanted one. And I just never pulled the trigger. ADHD takes over. I spend my money on other things. But this is so badass. Got a really nice uh, sharpening choil here. Got some texturing down here. So Ergo's super thin in hand. No jimping on the blade. But it feels fine. It, it's like a little chef's knife. It's just like a real fancy folding chef's knife. Ergo's in hand feel great. Uh, really, really nice. And it's decently long. So in hand, full four finger grip. Feels great. You can choke up to about here. Thumb out on the blade. That feels excellent. Pinch grip. Yeah, sure. We have the decorative hole that all spider goes must have. In order to be legally called a spider co, you gotta have some kind of hole in the blade. It feels great, pinch grip all day, for sure. Beautiful belt satin finish on that blade. Stunning, absolutely stunning, I'll tell you. 
Very, very cool. So it is a compression lock. We got the compression lock back here. Shit! <laughs> and it works! I can't believe how well that little gear flipper boy works. It's like the birth of the minimalist flipper tab. Feels great. It feels so natural. A little bit of lock stick. But... Oh, super snappy, man. And very uh, grippy jimping all over that little cogwheel. Yeah, running on bearings? Future me bearings? It feels like bearings. Access to the compression lock could be a little bit better, sure. But I mean, it works. If you've got even an inkling of a fingernail, whoops, you can get in there pretty easy. I don't know that they make CMEs this small. I mean, look at how tiny that cutaway is for the compression lock. I mean, there's nothing to it. Very, very cool. Two standoffs, uh, three standoffs looks like. Wow. So interesting, dude. I'm a big fan. Uh, action's great. Action's killer. Acoustics. It's very quiet. But it bounces. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Not a lot going on acoustically. But hey, it works, dude. I'm smitten with this little thing, man. I'm pumped to cut something with it. Like, that blade is just so thin. This little trailing point, man. I'm betting you she'll cut. S30V, so not the most exciting steel in the world, but, you know, whatever. It's Spyderco S30V, so it's heat treated really well, and it's ground really well, so I'm sure, uh, chef's kiss, it's going to cut. Let me grab the phone book. Let's take a look, see. Zoom out. Let's see if, I bet you she'll cut. Oh, God, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it feels like it's got some, it's been used. It feels like it's been used, but fuck, dude, it still is just... The cutting geometry alone is enough. The edge geometry is enough to just take you right through whatever. Oh my god, yeah. Laser beam. Razor beam? Trademark that. The Akuchi. Uh, Future Me. Whoever this was, put their name here. Thank you so much. Uh, seriously, I had no idea this was coming. Super pumped. We've seen one on NAF sale for a while, and I don't know if that's what this was. Excuse me, but I, 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 I adore it. I adore it. I, I don't know what to do. I feel obligated to get obligated to give it away, but I'm going to carry it for a little bit first. How's that sound? Does that sound good? But that is it for me. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe down below. Leave a comment, leave a like, a little thumbs up or a dislike. I don't really care. I can't be bothered. Hit me up on TikTok, on Instagram, become a Patreon member, a channel member. Do the dance. Dance monkey dance, but that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye now.